What exactly would you do for money? I've seen some really weird things that people sell for money. Like, for example, you know, off the top of my head, Belle Delphine. Belle Delphine used to sell her bath water and people bought so many of it, it sold out in seconds. She even said that she wanted to sell her fingernails, but they just wouldn't grow back in time. I can't grow toenails that quick and I'm not gonna cut my hair. There's a woman here who has been talking about selling her farts. Farts. You heard me correctly. Reality star Stephanie Matt earned $200,000 selling farts in a jar. And then she lands in the hospital due, due to severe gas. Oh no. How exactly are people buying this? How long do you think a fart would last in a jar before it just dissipates? It can't be traveling from New York to like California and not just dissipating. Stephanie Matto. Stephanie Matto was a person who was on 90 Day Fiance. I never watched 90 Day Fiance, so I don't know who she is. She has 290,000 followers on Instagram, and I'm pretty sure she has a YouTube channel. She does have a YouTube channel with 375,000 subscribers. That's cool. She seems like a nice person. She seems like a lovely lady. People were talking about her on Colbert Report. This is big news now. Oh, she has an NFT. Here, look, important information. Frequently asked questions. Where can you buy my farts? unfiltered.com ugh i feel gross just reading this <clears throat> oh my goodness people are giving testimonials oh no i just got my order gorgeous Sim we need to stop simping we need to stop being such weirdos online first of all he dm'd her love the hair just don't you probably shouldn't be dming people first of all your beauty and business savviness is something to be admired when i saw you were willing to sell your precious gases i knew i couldn't pass it up but now as i hold a jar in my hands it is without a doubt the most special possession of mine i will cherish it Thank you for the opportunity. Okay. Do you think he smelt the farts? He had to give it a little sniff, right? I really don't. I, I'm talking out of turn. Let me see exactly what she has to say about the situation because maybe there's something that I'm missing here. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you a day in the life of a girl who sells her farts in a jar. This is cold. I made a hundred thousand selling my farts in a jar. Yo, that sounds like fun, dude. Hi everyone, how are you all doing today? Why did she have to do that? Am I gonna have to blur this woman? I'm tired of being demonetized. I'm probably gonna have to post this on Patreon if it gets demonetized. <sighs> like she just, she comes in and she just does a little shake. Let's have a seat at my kitchen counter. Ow, oh my God, okay, okay. Did she fall? Okay. So I know it's been a while. I have been very, very busy with a new business venture which has just been exploding. Okay. It's all over the internet, which is pretty crazy. I never ever expected this. Honestly, I started selling farts about three weeks ago. Huh? In addition to jarring my farts, I've also been selling videos of myself making the the jarred farts. Which Are you telling me that she's not only jarring them, but she's making a video of her farting in jars? This is what I don't understand. For you to fart in a jar and there to be a smell in there, you think she's wearing pants or she's just going straight butt cheeks to the jar? <laughs> If the, she's going with straight butt cheeks, there is definitely fecal matter in that jar and she's shipping it. It's gotta be a biohazard, right? You can't sell these kinds of things. I never ever expected it to take off the way that it has. Honestly, right. I've just been requested to do it by like maybe 20 or so people. 20 people. If 20 people told me to do anything, you know how many things I would be doing? I would have an OnlyFans right now. Any people have asked me to start an OnlyFans? 20 people, that's the cutoff. She's like, 20 people asked me to do it. I'm starting a business. Followed me on my unfiltered page, which I don't know if you guys know, but it's my new 18 and up platform, which has really blown up in like the past three months ever since launch. Like we have so many creators. We have so many new features. It is like OnlyFans times 100 at this point. So I've been using my unfiltered account to sell these farts. I'm the okay. type of person that has learned over the years to never kink shame, to always be open and right. accepting of people's weirdness and oddities. And so... I can agree with that. I'm here to say that, you know, don't kink shame people. But I am shaming you for farting in a jar. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely shaming you for farting in a jar. Date in the life of a girl who sells farts in a jar. She put this on TikTok. But my videos get taken down. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a day in the life of a girl who sells her farts in a jar. Uh -huh. So I like to get things rolling with some beans, a protein muffin, Classic. sometimes even a yogurt, less sugar is mm -hmm. better, some hard boiled eggs. and. 
So she's just eating everything that makes you gassy. Beans, hard-boiled eggs, maybe a little Taco Bell. Like, Taco Bell is really going to get the, you know, the bowels moving, so to speak. And she's just out here eating hard-boiled eggs and what, what's she drinking? Eggnog? What is that? And today I decided I was going to make myself a protein shake with some yogurt added to it. And, oh, yogurt! I was feeling it, for sure. Oh, she's uh, feeling while it. While I wait for those farts to develop. There's no way you're reading a book while you're waiting for your farts to muster up in your stomach. She must be lactose intolerant. If she's drinking all this, like, milk-based products and yogurt and she's having to fart. And that can't be good for you if you're forcing the farts by drinking all of these dairy products. But at least she's reading. What is she reading there? Like, Pride and Prejudice? I like to read. I'm very smart. Love to read. Very smart. And love to read. And then after I'm ready to go, I go ahead and, you know, do my work. Do my job. I don't need to show you that, guys. But I like to add in little flower petals i nice. feel like they attach the scent and make it last long oh maybe she is a genius because i was trying to figure out how the jars are staying with the aroma how do you keep the aroma in there but she puts a couple leaves in there some petals to attach to the smell now i get it wow she's some sort of chemist and when i'm finally finished with my jar, I like to leave a personalized note. I want to thank you so much to the 97 people who have already purchased their jar of farts. And as you know, they're on sale right now, 50% off with one off. So go to my unfiltered and check it. Nice. Okay, so that's how she does it. And she writes here, don't hate the player, hate the game. I think I just hate everything. Why do I have to choose between the player and the I hate it all. So she has a website and her website, she calls it what did she say that it was like OnlyFans 2.0 or something oh so unfiltered is a new platform for creators so it's like OnlyFans. so what she was saying i thought she made the website but no it's just basically only fans okay i get it i understand but look at her nfts imagine selling nfts what could, how could you possibly <gasps> she's 5,000 fart jar nfts available oh you can mint it look this is her holding the jarred farts and these are the, the pictures that you can get. How much? 0.5 ETH. How much is 0.5 ETH at this current moment? $3,970. Who's spending $3,000 for your dumb NFTs? Look at these. Sure, they're cute, but they're stupid. Oh my goodness. Join the Discord. Okay, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna pass on that. Okay, but here's the problem. Remember I said that she's been forcing these farts out? Can't be good, right? She's been hospitalized. Here we go. Me coming home after I ended up in the hospital thinking I was having a heart attack after trying to make too many jarred farts. Really? Wow. So I guess there's too much gas in your system or something, right? That she was experiencing some painful symptoms, as you should. You know, you're forcing out gas, drinking protein shakes, and eating beans all day. It's gonna happen. So she said, I could tell that something was not right that evening. I was lying in bed. I could feel the pressure in my stomach. Oh my goodness. She couldn't breathe, and she had a pinching sensation around her heart. And of course, that gave her anxiety. So what she said is, <laughs> she went to the heart. I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. But going to the going, to <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing funny about that. Okay, let me pull it together, Asher. Going to the hospital because you're farting too much is kind of comical. I've been getting a ton of negativity, she said. I've even received death threats. That's a weird thing. Why would you threaten her? She can do what she wants, I guess. She's made an entire business and empire just out of farts. It's kind of nuts. Okay, well, that's it. That's it for the farting segment. That's it for the farting segment. No more farts. We're going to keep it clean. We're going to keep it family friendly here on The Asher Show. We're not going to talk about it anymore. But if you guys are looking for, you know, a couple jarred farts, you know exactly where to go. I feel gross just... <clears throat>